Shalom. Today we're going to be talking about the Jubilee. It is a beautiful instruction that Adonai gives his people during this time. The year of Jubilee is a sacred year in the kingdom of God, and it crosses over perfectly to the sacred ministry of our Savior, Yeshua, Jesus. First, we're going to talk about what the year of Jubilee is for the people of Israel, and then we will connect it to how it applies for us today. I hope you're ready, because inevitably, the presence that I want you to feel in your room today is the presence of hope. In our Torah portion, we find that God gives specific instructions to the people of Israel in regards to sowing and harvesting. The people of Israel were allowed to sow and harvest for six years in the land. But on the seventh year, it was a time for all of that to cease. The entire seventh year was meant to be a Sabbath for the land to rest from the labor that it does. The people of Israel were to count seven Sabbath years of the land, and it was eventually supposed to reach the 50th year. The 50th year was meant to be a hallowed time because it was a year where liberty was to be proclaimed. It was a time of allowing slaves to go free. It was a time of debt cancellation. It was a time where people could buy property back and so on. This is the year that we call the year of Jubilee, a holy season. There's something interesting about these seven years and the year of Jubilee that I find fascinating. I propose to you that not only does the land receive rest from sowing and harvesting, but the people also receive a kind of rest from laboring on the land. It is a time where people could spend time with their families. It is a time where one could focus more on growing closer to God during that season. Imagine what could be accomplished with an entire year of rest from sowing and harvesting. The reason that this could bring hope to the people of Israel is because when something is lost or a burden is on their shoulders, there is a chance they can recover from it. And I know that there are a lot of you today who might be experiencing burdens in your life, or you might have debt that you owe. But I want to encourage you that there is hope. The Torah portion then continues to remind the people of what will happen if they obey the Lord and keep his ways that he has revealed to them. Adonai promised them hope. Hope that rain will come when it's needed. Hope that they will be secure in the land. Hope that their land will provide food. Hope that they will be safe from their enemies. Then it goes on to remind them about bringing them out of Egypt, to remember what he has already done for them. But if they don't obey him, then he will allow all of their prosperity to be taken from there, and their enemies will once more rule over them, just as when they were ruled over in the land of Egypt. So. While we understand that the year of Jubilee was a year of debt cancellation, and in a way, a year of reconciliation, we also understand that there was a greater Jubilee that took place in the person of Yeshua, Jesus. Mankind had an even greater debt that could never be paid, the debt of sin, iniquity. Through Jesus' death on the cross and his shed blood, we could now receive the ultimate jubilee, the cancellation of our sin debt. In our lives as believers of Yeshua, if we keep his commandments and continue to live a holy and just life that is pleasing to him, we will find that the Father in heaven, our Abba, will bless us beyond anything 
we could ever imagine because he has given us a greater hope than our ancestors had hope in Yeshua <laughs>